children, children of Sai. We are the children, children of Sai. We are the children, children of Sai. We are the children, children of Sai. Satya Dharma Shanti Prima Ahimsa. ಶ್ರವಸ್ತಮ ಜ್ಯೇಷ್ಠರಾಜ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣಸ್ಪತ ಆನ ಶೃಣ್ವನ್ನೋದಿ ಸೇದ ಸಾಧನ ಪ್ರಣೋ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತೀ ವಾಜೇಭಿರ್ವಾಜಿನೀವತಿ ಧೀನಾಮ ವಿತ್ರಯವತ ಗಣೇಶಾಯ ನಮಃ ಸರಸ್ವತ್ಯ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ರುದ್ರಾಯ ಓ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ರುದ್ರಮಣ್ಯವ ಉತೋತ ಇಷವೇ ನಮಃ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಅಸ್ತು ಧನ್ವನೆ ಬಾಹುಭ್ಯಾ ಮುತತೆ ನಮಃ ಯಾತ ಇಷು ಶಿವ ತಮ ಶಿವ ಬಭೂವ ತೆ ಧನು ಶಿವಾಶರವ್ಯಾತವತಯಾನೋ ರುದ್ರಮೃಡಯ ಯಾತೆ ರುದ್ರ ಶಿವ ತನೂರ ಘೋರ ಪಾಪಕಾಶಿನಿ ತಯಾನಸ್ತನು ವಾಶಂತಮಯ ಗಿರಿಶಂತಾಭಿಚಾಕಶಿ ಯಾಮಿಶುಂ ಗಿರಿಶಂತಹಸ್ತೆ ಬಿಭರ್ಷ್ಯಸ್ತವೆ 
शिवांगिरीत्रुमाहि गुंसे पुषं जगत शिव नवच सात्वा गिरीशा छा वदे यथा न सर्वगद यक्ष्म सुमना असत अध्यवोचदधि वक्ता प्रथमो दैव्योभिषक अहेगस्वाजंभयर्वाया तो धान्य असौ यस्ताम्रो अरुण उत बभ्रुस्सु मंगल ये चे मागुम रुद्रा अभि तो दिक्षुश्रिता सहस्रशो वै शागुम हेडये महे असव्यो वसर्पति नीलग्रे वो बिलोहित उत नंगोप अदृशन्न दृशन्नुदार्य उत नम विश्वा भूता सदृष्ट मृणयाति नमो अस्तु नीलग्रेवाय सहस्राक्षा मेढुषे अथो ये अस्वा नो हेभ्यो करम प्रमुच धन्वनस्वुभर्जा ते हस्त इशव पराता भगवो वप अवतुस्वगुम सहस्राक्षु धे निषेध्य शल्याणा मुखा शिव न सुमना भवा विजम धनु कपर्दि नो विशल्यो बाणवागुम उता अनेशन्न शेषव आभुर से निशंगति या ते हेतुर्मेढुष्टमस्ते बभूव ते धनु तयास्मास्वतस्वयक्ष्मया परिभुज नमस्ते अस्वायुधायानाताय धृष्णवे उभाभ्यामुतते नमो बाहुभ्या तव धन्वने परिते धन्वनो हेतिरस्मृणत्तु विश्व अथो यशुधिस्तवारे अस्मेहित नमस्ते अस्तु भगवन्श्वराय महादेवाय त्रयंबकाय त्रिपुरांतकाय त्रिकाग्निकालाय कालाग्निद्रा नीलकंठा मृत्युंजयाय सर्वेराय सदाशिवाय श्रीमन्महादेवाय नम नमो हिण्य बाहवे सेना दिशा पत नमो नमो वृक्षेभ्यो हरिकेशेभ्य पशूना पत नमो नम सस्पिंजरायत्षेमते पथीना पत नमो नमो बभ्रुषा वि व्याधिना पत नमो नमो हरिकेशापवीति ने पुष्टा पत नमो नमो भवस्य भवस्ेत्य जगता पत नमो नमो रुद्रा तथा विने क्षेत्राण पत नमो नम सूताया हंत्यवना पत नमो नमो रोहिताय स्थपत वृक्षाण पत नमो नमो मंत्रिणे वाणिजा कक्षाण पत नमो नमो भुवंत वारिवस्कृताषधीना पत नमो नम उच्चैर्घोषा क्रंदयते पत्रीना पत नमो नम कृष्णवेताय धावते सत्वना पत नम नम सहमाय निव्याधिन आव्याधिनी पत नमो नम ककुभाय निशंगिणे स्तेना पत नमो नमो निशंगिण इशुधिमते 
ಪತಯ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ವಂಚತೆ ಪರಿವಂಚತೆ ಪತಯ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ನಿಚೇರವೇ ಪರಿಚರಾಯ ಪತಯ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಶೃಕಾಭ್ಯೋ ಜಿಘಾಗುಂ ಸದ್ಭ್ಯೋ ಮುಷ್ಣತ ಪತಯ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ಸಿಮ್ಭ್ಯೋ ನಕ್ತಂಚರಭ್ಯ ಪ್ರಕೃಂತ ಪತಯ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಉಷ್ಣೀಷಿಣೆ ಗಿರಿಚರಾಯ ಕುಲುಂಚಾನ ಪತಯ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಇಷು ಮಧ್ಯೋ ಧನ್ವಾಭ್ಯಶ್ಚ ವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಆತನ್ವಾನೇಭ್ಯ ಪ್ರತಿದಾನೇಭ್ಯಶ್ಚ ವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಆಯಚ್ಛದ್ಭ್ಯೋ ವಿಸೃಜದ್ಭ್ಯಶ್ಚ ವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮೋಸ್ಯೋ ವಿದ್ಯದ್ಭ್ಯಶ್ಚ ವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಆಸೀನೇಭ್ಯ ಶಯಾನೇಭ್ಯಶ್ಚ ವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಸ್ವಪದ್ಭ್ಯೋ ಜಾಗ್ರದ್ಭ್ಯಶ್ಚ ವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಸ್ತಿಷ್ಠದ್ಭ್ಯೋ ಧಾವದ್ಭ್ಯಶ್ಚ ವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಸಭಾಭ್ಯ ಸಭಾಪತಿಭ್ಯಶ್ಚ ವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ಅಶ್ವೇಭ್ಯೋ ಶ್ವಪತಿಭ್ಯಶ್ಚ ವೋ ನಮ ನಮ ಆ ವ್ಯಾಧಿನೀಭ್ಯೋ ವಿವಿಧ್ಯಂತೆಭ್ಯಶ್ಚ ವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಉಗಣಾಭ್ಯಸ್ತೃಗುಂಹತೆಭ್ಯಶ್ಚ ವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ಘೃತ್ಸೇಭ್ಯೋ ಘೃತ್ಸಪತಿಭ್ಯಶ್ಚ ವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ವ್ರಾತೇಭ್ಯೋ ವ್ರಾತಪತಿಭ್ಯಶ್ಚ ವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ಗಣೇಭ್ಯೋ ಗಣಪತಿಭ್ಯಶ್ಚ ವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ವಿರೋಪೇಭ್ಯೋ ವಿಶ್ವೇಭ್ಯಶ್ಚ ವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ಮಹದ್ಭ್ಯ ಕ್ಷುಲ್ಲಕೇಭ್ಯಶ್ಚ ವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ರಥಿಭ್ಯೋ ರಥೇಭ್ಯಶ್ಚ ವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ರಥೇಭ್ಯೋ ರಥಪತಿಭ್ಯಶ್ಚ ವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಸೇನಾಭ್ಯ ಸೇನಾಭ್ಯಶ್ಚ ವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಕ್ಷತ್ರುಭ್ಯ ಸಂಗ್ರಹೇತೃಭ್ಯ ವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಸ್ತಕ್ಷದ್ಭ್ಯೋ ರಥ ಕಾರೇಭ್ಯ ವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಕುಲೇಭ್ಯ ಕರ್ಮಾರೇಭ್ಯ ವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಪುಂಜಿಷ್ಟೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಿಷಾದೇಭ್ಯ ವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಇಶುಕೃದ್ಭ್ಯೋ ಧನ್ವಕೃದ್ಭ್ಯ ವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ಮೃಗಯುಭ್ಯ ಶ್ವನಿಭ್ಯ ವೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಶ್ವಭ್ಯ ಶ್ವಪತಿಭ್ಯ ವೋ ನಮಃ ನಮೋ ಭವಾಯ ಚ ರುದ್ರಾ ಚ ನಮ ಶರ್ವಾಯ ಚ ಪಶುಪತ ನಮೋ ನೀಲ ಗ್ರೀವಾಯ ಚ ಶಿಥಿಕಂಠಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಕಪರ್ದಿನೆ ಚ ಕೇಶಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಸಹಸ್ರಾಕ್ಷಾ ಚ ಶತಧನ್ವನೆ ಚ ನಮೋ ಗಿರಿಷಾಯ ಚ ಶಿಪಿಭಿಷ್ಟಾಯ ಚ ನಮೋ ಮೇಢುಷ್ಟಮ ಯಚೇಶು ಮತೆ ಚ ನಮೋ ಹ್ರಸ್ವಾಯ ಚ ವಾಮನಾಯ ಚ ನಮೋ ಬೃಹತೆ ಚ ವರ್ಷೀಯಸೆ ಚ ನಮೋ ವೃದ್ಧಾಯ ಚ ಸಂವೃಧ್ವನೆ ಚ ನಮೋ ಅಗ್ರಿಯಾಯ ಚ ಪ್ರಥಮಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಆಶವೆ ಚಾಜಿರಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಶೀಘ್ರಿಯಾಯ ಚ ಶೇಭ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಊರ್ಮ್ಯಾಯ ಚಾವಸ್ವನ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಸ್ರೋತಸ್ಯಾಯ ಚದ್ವೇಪ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮೋ ಜ್ಯೇಷ್ಠಾಯ ಚ ಕನಿಷ್ಠಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಪೂರ್ವಜಾಯ ಚಾಪರಜಾಯ ಚ ನಮೋ ಮಧ್ಯಮಾಯ ಚಾಪಗಲ್ಭಾಯ ಚ ನಮೋ ಜಘನ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ಬುಧ್ರಿಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಸೋಭ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ಪ್ರತಿಸರ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮೋ ಯಾಮ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ಕ್ಷೇಮ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಉರ್ವರ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ಖಲ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಶ್ಲೋಕ್ಯಾಯ ಚಾವಸಾನ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮೋ ವನ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ಕಕ್ಷ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಶ್ರವಾಯ ಚ ಪ್ರತಿಶ್ರವಾಯ ಚ ನಮ 
ಆಶುಷೇಣಾಯ ಚಾಶುರಥಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಶೂರಾಯ ಚಾವಬಿಂದತೆ ಚ ನಮೋ ವರ್ಮಿಣೆ ಚ ವರೂಥಿಣೆ ಚ ನಮೋ ಬಿಲ್ಮಿಣೆ ಚ ಕವಚಿಣೆ ಚ ನಮ ಶ್ರುತಾಯ ಚ ಶ್ರುತ ಸೇನಾಯ ಚ ನಮೋ ದುಂದುಭ್ಯಾಯ ಚಾಹನನ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮೋ ದೃಷ್ಣವೇ ಚ ಪ್ರಮೃಷಾಯ ಚ ನಮೋ ದೂತಾಯ ಚ ಪ್ರಹಿತಾಯ ಚ ನಮೋ ನಿಶಂಗಿಣೆ ಚೇಷು ಧಿಮತೆ ಚ ನಮಸ್ತೀಕ್ಷ್ಣೆ ಶವೇ ಚಾಯುಧಿ ಚ ನಮಸ್ವಾಯುಧಾಯ ಚ ಸುಧನ್ವನೆ ಚ ನಮ ಶ್ರುತ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ಪಥ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಕಾಟ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನೀಪ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಸೋದ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ಸರಸ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮೋ ನಾದ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ವೈಶಂತಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಕೂಪ್ಯಾಯ ಚಾವಟ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮೋ ವರ್ಷ್ಯಾಯ ಚಾವರ್ಷ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮೋ ಮೇಘ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ವಿದ್ಯುತ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಈಧ್ರಿಯಾಯ ಚಾತಪ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮೋ ವಾತ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ರೇಷ್ಮಿಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮೋ ವಾಸ್ತವ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ವಾಸ್ತುಪಾಯ ಚ ಹರ 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 ಓಂ ನಮ ಸೋಮಾಯ ಚ ರುದ್ರಾಯ ಚ ನಮಸ್ತಾಮ್ರಾಯ ಚಾರುಣಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಶಂಗಾಯ ಚ ಪಶುಪತೇ ಚ ನಮ ಉಗ್ರಾಯ ಚ ಭೀಮಾಯ ಚ ನಮೋ ಅಗ್ರೆ ವಧಾಯ ಚ ದೂರೆ ವಧಾಯ ಚ ನಮೋ ಹಂತ್ರೆ ಚಹನೀಯಸೆ ಚ ನಮೋ ವೃಕ್ಷೇಭ್ಯೋ ಹರಿಕೇಶೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಸ್ತಾರಾಯ ನಮ ಶಂಭವೆ ಚ ಮಯೋ ಭವೆ ಚ ನಮ ಶಂಕರಾಯ ಚ ಮಯಸ್ಕರಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಶಿವಾಯ ಚ ಶಿವತರಾಯ ಚ ನಮಸ್ತೀರ್ಥ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ಕೋಲ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಪಾರ್ಯಾಯ ಚಾವಾರ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಪ್ರತರಣಾಯ ಚೋತ್ತರಣಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಆತಾರ್ಯಾಯ ಚಾಲಾದ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಶಪ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ಫೇನ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಸಿಕತ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ಪ್ರವಾಹ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಇರಣ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ಪ್ರಪಥ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಕಿಗುಂಶಿಲಾಯ ಚ ಕ್ಷಯಣಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಕಪರ್ದಿನೆ ಚ ಪುಲಸ್ತೆ ಚ ನಮೋ ಗೋಷ್ಠ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ಗೃಹ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮಸ್ತಲ್ಪ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ಗೇಹ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಕಾಟ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ಗಹ್ವರೇಷ್ಠಾಯ ಚ ನಮೋ ಹೃದಯ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಿವೇಷ್ಪ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಪಾಗುಂ ಸವ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ರಜಸ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಶುಷ್ಕ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ಹರಿತ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮೋ ಲೋಪ್ಯಾಯ ಚೋಲಪ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಊರ್ವ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ಸೂರ್ಮ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಪರ್ಣ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ಪರ್ಣಷದ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮೋ ಪಗುರಮಾಣಾಯ ಚಾಭಿಘ್ನತೆ ಚ ನಮ ಆಖಿದತೆ ಚ ಪ್ರಖಿದತೆ ಚ ನಮೋ ವ ಕಿರಿಕೇಭ್ಯೋ ದೇವಾಗು ಹೃದಯೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ವೀಕ್ಷಿಣಕೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ವಿಚಿನ್ವತ್ಕೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮ ಆನಿರ್ಹತೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮ ಆಮೀವತ್ಕೇಭ್ಯ ದ್ರಾಪೇ ಅಂಧಸಸ್ಪತೆ ದರಿದ್ರನ್ನೀಲೋಹಿತ ಪುರುಷಾಂ ಪಶೂನ ಮಾಭೇರ್ಮಾರೋ ಮೋ ಕಿಂಚನಾಮತೆ ಯಾತೆರುದ್ರ ಶಿವ ತನೋ ಶಿವ ವಿಶ್ವಾಭೇಷಜಿ ಶಿವ ರುದ್ರ ಭೇಷಜಿ ತಯಾನೋ ಮೃಡ ಜೀವಸೆ ಇಮಾಗುಂ ರುದ್ರಾಯ ತವಸೆ ಕಪರ್ದಿನೆ ಕ್ಷಯದ್ವೇರಾಯ ಪ್ರಭರ ಮಹೇ ಮತಿ ಯಥಾನಶಮಸ್ವಿಪದೆ ಚತುಷ್ಪದೆ ವಿಶ್ವ ಪುಷ್ಟ ಗ್ರಾಮೆ ಅಸ್ಮಿನ್ನಾತುರ ಮೃಡಾನೋ ರುದ್ರೋ ತನೋ ಮಯಸ್ಕೃದೆ ಕ್ಷಯದ್ವೇರಾಯ ನಮಸ ವಿಧೇ ಮತೆ ಯಚ್ಛಂಚಯೋಶ್ಚ ಮನುರಾಯ ಜೇ ಪಿತಾ ತದ ಶ್ಯಾಮ ತವ ರುದ್ರ ಪ್ರಣೀತೋ 
मानो महांत मुत मानो अर्भक मान उक्षंत मुत मान उक्षित मानो वधे पितर मोत मातर प्रिया मानस्तनु रुद्र रे ऋषा मानस्तो के तन ये मान आयुषि मानो गोषु मानो अश्वेशु रे ऋषा वीरान मानो रुद्र भाथ वधेर हविष्मो नमसा विधे मते आराते गोघ्न उत पुषघ्ने क्षयद्वेराय सुम नमस्मे ते अस्तो रक्षा च नो अधि चेव ब्रूह्य धाचन शर्म यहा तुहिश्रुतंगर्त सदुवान मृगन्न भीम मुपहक्तृमुग्रम मृड़ाजरित्रे रुद्रस्तवानो अन्यन्ते अस्मन्वपंतु सेना आरिणो रुद्र से हेतर्वृण तो पिवेशुर्मतिरघा अवस्थिरा मघवद्यस्तनुश्वेढ़स्तोकायतनया मृडया मीढ़ुष्तम शिव तम शिव न सुमना भवा परमे वृक्ष आयुधन निधा कृत्यम वसा न आचर पिनाक बिभ्रदा गे विकृत विलोहित नमस्ते अस्तु भगव यास्ते सहस्र गुमेतमस्मुता सहस्रा सहस्रधा बाहुवस्तव हेत तीशा नो भगव पराचीना मुखा कृधे सहस्रा सहस्रशो ये रुद्र अभूम्या तेषागुम सहस्रो जने वधन्वानि तन्मसे अस्मत्यर्णवेन्तरीक्षे भवा नीलग्रेवा शिथिकंठा शर्वा अध क्षमाचरा नीलग्रेवा शिथिकंठा दिवगुम रुद्र उपश्रिता ये वृक्षेशु सस्पिंजरा नीलग्रेवा विलोहिता ये भूता नामधिपत विशिखा सकपर्दिन ये अन्षु विविध्य पात्रु पिबत जना ये पथा पथिक्षय ऐलभृदा युध ये तीर्था प्रचरती श्रुकावंत निषंगिण यूयागुंस दिशो रुद्रावित स्थिरे तेषा गुम सहस्रो जने वधन्वानि तन्मसे नमो रुद्रेभ्यो ये पृथिव्यांतरीक्षे ये दिवेशा वातो वर्षमिषभस्तेभ्यो दश प्राचीर्दश दक्षिणा दश प्रतीचीर्दशो दीचीर्दशोर्धास्तेभ्यो नमस्ते नो मृड़य तो तेयम द्विष्मो यो देष्टित वो जंभे दधा त्र्यंबकमहे सुगंधि पुष्टिवर्धनम पूर्वाकम बंधना मृत्योर्मुक्षीयृता यो रुद्रो अग्नो यो अप्सुय ओषधेशु यो रुद्रो विश्वा भुवना विवेश तस्म रुद्रा नमो अस्तो ये ते सहस्रमयुत पाशा मृत्यो मर्त मया सर्वा नवयजामहे मृत्यवे स्वाहा मृत्यवे स्वाहा प्राणाला ग्रंथिसी रुद्रो मा विशात 
तेनाप्यायस्व नमो रुद्रा विष्णवे मृत्युर्मे पाहे तमुष्टु यशु सुधन वायो विश्व क्षयति भेषजस् यक्ष्वा महेशौ मनसाय रुद्रं नमो भिर्देवसुरंदुवस्या अयम मे हस्त भगवान्यम मे भगवत्तर अय मे विश्वेश जोयगुं शिवाभिमर्षण ओ शे मयश्च मे प्रिय मे नु कामश्च मे कामश्च मे सौ मनसश्च मे भद्रम च मे श्रेयश्च मे वश्यश्च मे यश्च मे भगश्च मे द्रविण च मे यता च मे धर्ता च मे क्षेम च मे धृति मे विश्व च मे महश्च मे संवित च मे ज्ञात्र मे सोश्च मे प्रसोश्च मे शीर च मे लयश्च मृत च मे मृत च मे यक्ष्म च मे नाम यच्छ मे जीवातुश्च मे दीर्घायुत्वं च मे न मित्र च मे भय च मे सुगंच मे शयन च मे सुषा च मे सुदीन च मे ओ शिशाशा ओ स्वस्ति प्रजाभ्य पिपालयताेन मगेण मही महिषा गो ब्राह्मणेभ्य शुभमस्त नितोका सुखिनो समस्तलोका सुखिनो समस्तलोका सुखिनो भवन्तु ओ शांति 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 ओ
Oh uh-huh. 
शिरडी साई परती साई हमको दी जो प्रेम अमृत धारा
ಪ್ರಭು ಗಿರಿಧಾರಿ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಪ್ರಭು ಗಿರಿಧಾರಿ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಪ್ರಭು ಗಿರಿಧಾರಿ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಹೃದಯ ಬಿಹಾರಿ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಹೃದಯ ವಿಹಾರಿ
Shri Sai Ram. In his discourse on the 21st of November 1985, Bhagavan Shri Satya Sai Baba gave 10 guiding principles that should govern our lives. Join me in reciting these 10 guiding principles. Number 1. Love and serve your country. Do not be critical of others' countries. 2. Honour and respect all religions as pathways to God. 3. Love all humanity as part of your family. Know that humanity is a single community. 4. Keep your home and surroundings clean. 5. Help the needy with food, clothing and shelter. Help them become self-reliant. 6. Be examples of honesty. Do not participate in any activity such as bribery or corruption. 7. Curb jealousy, envy and hatred. 8. Develop self-reliance. Become your own servant before proceeding to serve others. 9. Adore God, abhor sin. 10. Observe your country's laws and be an exemplary citizen. J. Saira. Offering my most humble panams and prayerful salutations at the divine lotus feet of our most beloved Bhagavan Sri Satya Sai Baba. Respected elders, dearest brothers and sisters, Om Sri Sai Ram, and welcome to tonight's national devotional program. We pray that you and your family are well by the grace of our most beloved Bhagavan. The announcements for this week, Gayatri Mantra chanting. We humbly ask all devotees to continue chanting the Gayatri Mantra three times a day, and if possible, let us all chant together at 7 p.m., 108 times. Chanting the Gayatri Mantra is one of the most potent forms of seva we can do, as it is selfless and will go to wherever it is needed unbeknown to us. Daily Veda chanting continues at 5 a.m. and 6 p.m. Please do take advantage of this amazing opportunity to learn these sacred texts. Prayers for Healing WhatsApp group has been created to allow devotees to pray for those in need of healing or upliftment. If you have a family member, friend or know of any person who needs prayer, please contact any of the national devotional coordinators to post the request on this group. We do wish that you have a blessed week ahead. Jai Sai Ram. Love is God. Live in love. Live in love. Sai Ram, welcome to another episode of Oh My Sai. Being here in Parthi for the Prema Bandham meet, really brings a lot of memories. Uh, it's a miracle that I'm here uh, and s speaking to you all because in my wildest dreams I had no idea that I will actually come through the portals of this institution. Coming to Parthi to do my graduation and then do my MBA, I had no clue that I will actually be doing these courses and actually be stepping into the corporate world. As I navigate uh, through a co the corporate environment, uh, there is so much that I am able to implement uh, by being around Swami and learning from Him. You know, there are, I have experienced multitude of miracles that have touched me so deeply. But if I keep the avatar aside and just look at Swami as a manager, there is so much that I have learned from Him that I am able to use in my day-to-day -day life in the corporate world, and that really helps me navigate. And the three aspects from the corporate world where I really find answers when I look at Swami as a manager, the first one being having a vision. It's very keen in, in the corporate world when we speak of having a vision, having the larger picture, being able to tell a story that inspires people. Most of the time it's not the nitty gritty that really makes people motivated, but it's the larger picture where people can see what's in it for me. I see that very much in Swami. And I, and I would like to take an example of the Super Speciality Hospital. When Swami thought of this hospital as a vision, 
It was practically nothing. It was barren land. There was nothing that anyone could have imagined that such a large superstructure will come here. Right? But he built it and it made it happen. And the moment he decided that such a structure needs to come, funds started pouring in. To an extent that he even decided the date of an inauguration and a large complex of that size came up. I, I remember the year 1991. Uh, generally in October, we have holidays for Dashara, wherein we go home because it's a big festival for us. But this time we actually did not go home. We told our parents that we are staying back because we wanted to be a part of this grand initiative from Swami. We were really inspired by his vision to create something so uh, magnificent, right? And personally for us, every day during that period, we would actually be at the site, a completely barren land, and we would actually be involved in moving the bricks, you know? Even doing that gave us so much of joy. And then Swami used to come almost daily, you know, with a trunk full of fruits or sweets for those of us who were working there. And it was so inspiring for all of, for all of us. And as we saw, day by day, week by week, month by month, this whole massive structure came about. And it happened on the date Swami decided that inauguration is to happen. Now that's vision and that's also execution and that's really inspiring. So in the corporate world, there can be no better manager than Swami when it comes to vision. We see here that, you know, he had this grand vision. He was able to really bring it to life. Really, his attention to detail was amazing and which about the execution. For us, we were all inspired. There was absolutely, absolute clarity what was there for each one of us. We really wanted to be a part of this mission. 1993. We were in Kodai Canal and 15, 20 of us brothers, we were fortunate enough to spend time with Swami at his bungalow. I vividly remember an incident that happened. Once we had sat down for meals along with Swami and Swami, as we know, he eats very less, so quickly finished his meal and then he was supervising as to how we brothers were having our food and whether there was enough on our plates. And he notices that one of our brothers does not have much on his plate and he is very concerned and he inquires, what's wrong? Why are you not having, are you not enjoying the meal? And the brother says, no, Swami, I'm not keeping well and uh, I'm having a pain in my stomach. And Swami was again very much like a mother, oh, what's wrong? And how long have you been uh, having this challenge? He says, Swami, I've sort of skipped at least two meals now. Swami was very, very concerned, said, give me a moment. Swami goes into the kitchen and prepares a mixture, a herbal mixture that only he knows. Comes with a large tumbler of that mixture, gives it to the boy and says, drink this and you're going to be fine. And as it is, the brother drinks it, he's soon fine enough by evening and he's able to enjoy a hearty meal. What I gather from this episode is two aspects. Empathy, real concern for the feelings of others. Swami is really able to understand that there is someone who is in a bit of pain, discomfort, and I need to really understand what he's undergoing. And then compassion, bringing it to action by going to the kitchen, preparing a mixture and bringing it to really comfort him. Now, when I see these values, I can simply copy paste these values in my corporate world, wherein we deal with people human beings who have feelings and it's so important to understand how people feel at any given point in time and why they are not behaving in a particular way is because of something that's bothering them. So it's about understanding people's feeling and then going beyond to help them overcome those feelings and then become more productive. I remember an incident where a colleague of mine was going through a rough patch. He was, we had a lot of personal problems that he wanted to really take care of. And uh, the, the, the least I could do was, you know, inform his team that let the manager take some time out, you know, able to sort his problems. And I told the team, you please, you know, connect with me. You know, for all your issues or challenges that you have at this moment, I'm your manager practically. And let's allow your manager to recuperate, you know, rejuvenate and come back uh, recharged. So this attribute of empathy, which is so essential in the corporate world, we've seen it plentiful with Swami. And having lived with Swami for a long time as a student, it has naturally rubbed on to us and we're able to exhibit 
in our workplace day in and day out. 1995, after I'd done my MBA, it was time for me to look at my career and the future ahead. And it was an important decision that I had to take. What will I do from here? So I was in Parthi for about 45 days, trying to get a signal from Swami as to what should be my career choices. Should I stay back at Parthi? Should I be of service here? Or should I move out to the corporate world and find a job? And I was not getting those answers until after about one and a half months of stay, Swami one day spotted me in the mandir and asked me, what are you doing here? And I just got up and said, Swami, I want to be of service to you. And he looked at me very sharply and said, no, not here. You go out and find a job. And you know, Swami's wish is our command. And I took that as a command from Swami and I looked around for a job and I found a job. And I felt Swami should be the first person that I should inform that, okay, Swami, I've listened to you and now I have a job at hand. So next day, during darshan, Swami passes me by and I get up and say, Swami, I have something to tell you. He says, what? I said, I have found a job now. I said, wow, okay. And the place where I was informing Swami, a lot of VIPs around. Swami took a lot of pride in his students finding a job and he told the VIPs, look, this boy has now found a job. Uh, I have told him that he really needs to work hard. Corporate world uh, is, is, is a tough world. And as a student from here, he needs to prove himself. Little did I know that in private, it would be a different reaction from Swami. And privately, Swami met me and he said, why are you leaving? And uh, was this not enough for you? You know, I did so much for you and now you're leaving me and going. So I was now in two minds that, you know, Swami, your wish was that I should go. But now you're saying, why are you going? What should I do? So it was a bit of a mental trauma for me as to what should be my next course. I then decided that I should give away the job and stay back in Parthi because I never wanted to hurt Swami in any which way. But the next day Swami comes up to me and asks me, when are you going? Then I had to give him a date. So I said, okay, Swami, so and so date I'm going. And Swami says, okay, before you go, I'm going to meet you. So the date comes and Swami calls me for an interview and a lot of wonderful things during that interview. He finally also gives me a ring uh, during in the interview. Uh, and as the interview is getting over, we realize that the bhajans have started. And then Swami hurriedly tells the entire group, including me, that, okay, you need to go out now because bhajans have started now. So as I come out of the interview room and then bhajans were in the mandir, I realized that I can't go inside and sit on my spot. I have to sit somewhere by the door because bhajans have started and minimal movement is allowed. So I just sit by the door where most of the percussion folks sit. And Swami comes, he sits on his throne for a while. And after five minutes, he comes down his throne and goes inside the interview room. And then he comes out and suddenly he becomes me near the interview room door and the bhajan is on, everyone is in total silence and he asks me to get up. I feel very awkward getting up, but he says, you come over. And I, as I go very close to him, he pulls something from his hand and puts it in my shirt pocket. And he says, this is the fare for you to go to Indore because I'm sure you don't have the travel money. You know, middle of the bhajan to get up, to go and to think that this guy needs money to even travel to Indore was an amazing thought for someone where someone was leaving. You know? Now, when I bring this to a corporate life, we see people looking at separation from corporates. And most of the times, these separations are very, very messy. That's because we are not able to appreciate the other person's desire to probably look for a better career or a better future. And it becomes very messy. And what happens is the person, when he leaves, it goes with a lot of ill will and does not really have a good good word of mouth for the organization that he so loved. But look at my example. I left in I left for Indore with so much of love in my heart that the very first salary I gave, I made it into a draft. And I sent it back to Swami saying, this is my, this is my uh, contribution to you for all that you've done for me. And surprisingly, he found that draft and he found the letter and he was able to give it to the to my MD, saying, this is what your person has sent it to me. And that made me even more committed to the cause. Not only this, every time I came back to Parthi, Swami was always inquiring about my well-being. 
First time I came, Swami was like, are you in Indore? The next time I come, are you married? The third time I come, do you have a family now? How are they doing? It was amazing to look at his warmth and love that whenever someone comes home, he just opens his heart to us. So this is an amazing attribute from Swami that even for someone who leaves his portals, he gives them such a wonderful send off that you always feel like coming back. And you feel that this is your home that you can come back at any point in time. So here was I touching upon the three aspects crucial to a manager. But if you, if you look at any attribute or aspect for, important for a manager, you can find that in Swami's life. And personally for me, there are many a times wherein you know, I get stuck in situations and I look to Swami to find those answers. I relieve the time that we spent with Swami and the various experiences that we've had, either personally or what we've seen of others. And there are so many parallels that we can draw and find solutions in our corporate world. And so I'm eternally grateful to Swami for having opened these portals of his institution for us to have come and studied and imbibed those qualities by being around him, by listening to him and by experiencing his grace and warmth. And as a part of the alumni, it's always a pleasure to come again and again to Parthi to experience Swami's presence here and to always go back recharged and rejuvenated. Sairam. Samasta Loka Su
साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्यदेवाय धीमहि तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात् ओम साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्यदेवाय धीमहि तन्नस सर्व प्रचोदयात् ओम साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्यदेवाय धीमहि तन्नस सर्व प्रचोदयात् ओम साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्यदेवाय धीमहि 
ಸಾಯೀಶ್ವರಾಯ ವಿಮಹೆ ಸತ್ಯದೇವಾಯ ಧೀಮಹಿ ತನ್ನ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯತ್ ಸಾಯೀಶ್ವರಾಯ ವಿಮಹೆ ಸತ್ಯದೇವಾಯ ಧೀಮಹಿ ತನ್ನ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯ 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 